A number of developments have taken place in the banking industry globally and in Rwanda, in particular with regards to the way of conducting of business, for example, mergers and acquisitions in Rwanda's financial sector and opening shop of new banks on the market. These developments have led to competition in local banking industry and called for a lot of innovation on the part of the banks, especially in aggressively rolling out of the existing trade products and developing of new ones. One of the innovative new solution banks have resorted to is structured financing of commodity trade, which sees various structured finance tools like pre-shipment or pre-export financing, post-shipment financing, warehouse receipt financing, and structured trade and commodity financing. We sat down with the MD of AC Global Rwanda, Richard Manzi, on whether local banks in the market have embraced this kind of financing. So I understand that uh, collateral management is a way of uh, helping the private sector, the businessmen actually get access to finance. But we just want to understand how the whole model works out, the methodology of it. Well, the concept of collateral management is relatively new into the Rwandan market, but it has been around for a couple of more years. Uh, uh, the orthodox way of financing trade is that uh, things are real estate as attain the credit worthiness of the borrower. Uh, but uh, um, as, as, as business expands, as the trade uh, requirement expands, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, houses, you're building more houses or you're buying more land to ascertain your credit worthiness. So uh, uh, there came into play a hybrid of these services where a bank can finance uh, trade looking at the commodity in itself as collateral. But uh, banks being banks, their core business is not to manage these goods. Uh, uh, theirs is to uh, try and deal in the paperwork. So uh, if they can transfer this risk, if they can take on the credit risk as a bank and transfer the performance risk to, to, to another party that is willing and able to take on this risk, that is how the concept of collateral management comes into play. So the goods themselves become collateral. The independent third party that has no interest whatsoever takes on these goods, controls receipt, controls storage, controls release, and keeps the banks informed at every turn. Uh, oftentimes, traders can be unlucky, but sometimes that they are dishonest. So all these risks that uh, if, 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 if the bank takes the bench on the goods, who is going to manage these goods? Who is going to ensure that the appropriate uh, moisture content for coffee is actually registered? Who is going to ensure that uh, the warehouse is locked, that uh, the weighing is on point and uh, not having uh, 50 kg bags going for 100 kg, passing as 100 kg bags? So that is in itself what we do. Uh, we are the ears and the eyes of the bank on the ground. Do you have certain kind of commodities at the particular moment that you're dealing with? Yes. Uh, 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 first, I would say anything quantifiable and qualifiable, we do. Uh, but in Rwanda, uh, we've done sugar. We are doing rice. Uh, we're doing paddy rice, the local one that is grown in the eastern province. We're doing petroleum. Uh, we've done uh, pharmaceuticals. We're doing computers. We, we're cutting across our commodities. We're doing grain, maize, and uh, yeah. The benefits of these new trade finance services go both ways for banks. These services provide the ability to lend out more than it would have if only physical assets were considered. They also reduce the number of non-performing loans as these are transactional based financing and the banks have a constant flow of information through the independent third party. For the trader, the ability to borrow more than what their physical collateral permits is second to none. I want to find out from you, we recently uh, had an interview with the Minister of Trade and the private sector here, all the traders have actually been given a lot of funding and platforms to be able to grow their businesses. When we talk about collateral management, this looks like a win, especially for the traders, because it's, you have someone actually helping you get the funding Dealing with the market here, all the traders, is this a challenge you're coming along in terms of having them to understand that this is actually benefiting their business? And what are some, some of the benef benefits? Probably some of them would ask, why should I go for it? The, 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 Id the idea of uh, you know, understanding, it will go both ways. To one, the banks, because the banks need to embrace the concept in the first place, because uh, it, uh, it helps them increase. Uh, their loan book because uh, if, if I was able to lend out uh, to Maggie 20 million depending on uh, the house she has, 
if, if she can pledge these goods as collateral, she should have access to more money. So, so that plays both into the bank's advantage, the ability to lend out more, and it also plays to the trader's advantage, the ability to borrow more money than what uh, your real estate can actually give you. Uh, and, but but uh, for, from the trader's point of view, those we are working with have appreciated the concept uh, because it frees out uh, some of these physical assets collateral that are pledged to the bank. Uh, the idea of trade is that, the, like I said, the goods should be able to finance themselves. Uh, and if you have these physical assets collateral, it should be used for investment purposes rather than tie it somewhere for just trade. Uh, so uh, the traders that we've worked with, that we continue to work with, have embraced the idea and uh, they continue. And they've not looked back because they keep coming year on, year out, and they say, okay. And we've seen it also. We've, we've had plants that have grown from $500,000 to now $2.5, 3 dollars $4, $5 million, able to borrow that much, looking at the grain, looking at the petroleum, looking at the maize as collateral, rather than um, concentrate on the house or plot of land or apartment. In, uh, the financial sector moving forward yeah. is changing, especially in terms of innovation, in terms of very many other things. What do you foresee in the near future? Uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of collateral management and banking, first we have uh, taken a step as ACA Global uh, because uh, um, what we do has now been digitalized. Uh, initially, a warehouse receipt would have to be signed and but now it's a system uh, uh, issue that uh, banks can actually have access. Uh, they have logins and they know that we finance so much. Uh, and this is the warehouse receipt that has been generated. Uh, and then we've released so much because for every information that we get, the primary data uh, from the sites is translated into, uh, is, is put into a system and it will be translated into uh, secondary reports. And so banks can have access without necessarily calling Richard or so and so, please send me a report for this client. So uh, we've also taken a step. We understand that uh, uh, fintech is becoming uh, the way to go. Absolutely. So we've also we've also decided to uh, follow suit and make sure we're not left behind. Uh, in terms of what I foresee, obviously, technology is always going to come and help and uh, uh, make life better, make make things more convenient and uh, conducive. So. We are certainly, we are certainly uh, uh, looking forward to also joining the, uh, the bandwagon.